Hey, how's it going? Spy here and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic Mini City Build episode. So last episode, we checked out the movie theater and the internet cafe over there. And this episode, I have a bunch more buildings to show you guys. But before we go over there, let's hop in our old people car here. <laughs> You guys may recognize this from a uh, Top Gear episode. It is pretty, uh, it's a pretty interesting car, if I say so myself. Uh, we're gonna hop in the driver's seat, which is on this side because Top Gear is a show from the UK. Okay, here we go. Hop in here and let's go. So in Top Gear, this car has quite a bit of cool little features on it, but some of those features on this car do not work exactly the same way as in the Top Gear episode, but it is a cool little car nonetheless, and this car here was made by Mr. Krofka, and uh, man, it's pretty cool. The door right there is kind of stuck though. We gotta kind of slam it shut sometimes. It's, it's a little finicky, guys. It's a little finicky. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a U-turn here. Look at those. Look at those skills there. Yep. So if you guys do want to check out that Top Gear episode, it will be in the description. I recommend you guys go check it out. It is, it is pretty funny. But anyways, now that we got our little old people car here loaded up with old people, i.e. me, let's head on over to the downtown area because there is a load of cool little buildings there that uh, old people would love. Um, we could turn right on red here. That's the law. That's the law. All right, here we go. And the first building that some old people would love, or young people, is a bowling alley. So Sir Boomla and I have developed a bowling alley here for the downtown area. It fits pretty well. Uh, we're just going to go around the corner here. We're going to park our car in the back here. Here's some more buildings. Oh, man, I'm not the best driver. Here's some more buildings that a bunch of other people have built us. But we are going to check these out in a little bit. Let's park our car back here first. So one of the cool features with this car is if you back up, it has a backup beeper and the real car has an external rear mounted airbag. So if you get too close to an object, it will deploy. But that's not really the case for uh, this this car in Scrap Mechanic. But you can hear the alarm. It's going off. It's going to warn us. Oh, oh wow. It, it, it does blow up. Oh. <laughs> I didn't notice that when I was testing it. It does blow up. Listen to this, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, we're going to park the car properly. That's a good enough spot. All right, so let's hop out. And let's go around to the bowling alley and check it out. So this building right here is a little bigger than what I intended. But Sir Boomalot and I had a little bit of troubles making the bowling alley inside. As you can see, the bowling alley here is called Three Pins, and it is named that because we only have three pins per lane in the bowling alley. Yeah. So let's enter the inside here. Click the buttons here to open up the doors. Click them here again to close them. Let's turn the lights on first thing. Uh, these ones right here. And there we go. Here's the bowling alley. So on the inside, we got the lobby here with the desk. Um, you gotta come up here and get your bowling alley boots. Yep, bowling alley boots. To be able to play at one of these lanes here. And then we got the cash register, we got a computer here, and we have two vending machines right here. There's, they're not stocked up with any food or anything, but, uh, yeah. You can get some, you, well, you could get some food here if they were stocked up. So, back here we got a little jukebox, which works, but there's already music playing. That turns on when you turn the lights on. Over here we have a table and we got the benches here for people to wait for their turn when their friends are playing on the lanes here. Alright, so let's get started and take a look at the lanes. First thing though, we are going to turn the lights on by pressing this button. And here we go. Look at those lights. Pretty nifty. There's also a blue light that turns on occasionally just to give it a little more atmosphere to the bowling alley atmosphere yeah so this is the problem with scrap mechanic we could have made the lanes quite a bit smaller but our ball our bowling ball here is quite enormous <laughs> so we made three pins here and we made the bowling ball here and it and it works it works quite well 
So what we do is we break this here. We take our bowling ball. We place it right here on the line or wherever you think is a fair location. Grab your hammer. But before you do that, make sure to go place the pins just like this. There we go. Oh, that one's... Oh, well, that one's good enough. And here we go. You guys think I could get a, get a strike? Here we go. Bam! Oh, look at that! <laughs> yeah! Alright, let's try that again. We're gonna go over here. Gonna set these pins like this. Awesome. So, place the ball back down. Let's hit it again. Can we get two strikes? Here we go. Man! Oh, ah. Oh, okay. Let's try one more time. Can we get a spare? Can we get a spare? Let's try this out. Hwah. Spare! Nice. <laughs> Sweet. All right. So there's the bowling alley. I'm going to have to reset these pins for you guys. If you want to download this map yourselves, download it in the description. Try out the bowling alley yourselves. See what you guys can uh, score. We got the computers here to tell you your scores. Uh, not really, but you know what? Sure, sure. Play with your friends if it wants to work. Uh, this map has some troubles playing with friends at the moment. All right. So that's pretty much it for the bowling alley here. Next up, we're going to check out the... Upstairs area, which is a little office or apartment area. Now, that's more of a filler. I'm going to warn you guys. This is a filler building up top. There's not much to it. I wanted to kind of make it aesthetically pleasing on the outside more than the inside. So, Sir Boomalot notified me that there is a little secret on the inside of the bowling alley here. And I think I know where it is. I may, I may or may not have already found it. Don't tell him. But we're going to press this button here. Oh, yeah, secrets. Secrets. This is like a little shortcut. It's not a super big secret, but there we go. So to get in here, you just go out the back and you go through here. And then there we go. So we go up here and we got a little balcony where you can look down. There's no chairs or anything up here yet because uh, it's pretty empty. Back here, we got the apartment rooms or the office rooms. I kind of wanted to go for a unique look, and it's an exterior walkway up here. Yeah, it looks alright. But this is the only room that has anything on the inside at the moment, and as you can see, no one's living here. It's empty. It's like a little office building. We got the kitchen, we got the fridge, and that's pretty much it. There's boxes everywhere. It's pretty empty. And yeah, alright, so that's pretty much it for there. We could go up to the roof. And the roof is pretty simple as well. We just got some air ducts right there and some air conditioners or whatever those are. All right, so that's pretty much it for the bowling alley. And now we're going to head on over across the street right here. And across the street, they have a bunch of buildings. Look at this. It's amazing. So Callum collaborated with Mr. Krufka and Doge Lord to build a bunch of these buildings. So, the first building that you guys see here is the clothes shop. A little clothes shop. And up, up above it, we have some apartment buildings. We're going to get to those in a little bit. All right, so let's enter the clothes shop right here. And on the inside, it's what you expect. There's a bunch of clothes and stuff everywhere. But we're going to go to the back room here before anything. We're going to turn the lights on by pressing these buttons right here. So this is like a little staff room. We have a coffee machine there. We got a sink. And back here, we got some boxes with some clothes in it, I assume. And this is the back door to the back exit here. All right. So let's go back inside here. We got some boots. Fashionable boots. Look at those ones. Those ones are super, super, shaf super fashionable. Super fashionable, guys. A spy cake's blue right there. Uh, we got some clothes, more clothes, and we have the till. And at the till, there's a little button here, and this sets off an alarm. Oh man, I'm turning that off. That, that That's really annoying. All right, and in clothes shops, they usually have this change room here. Yep, this is where you could change, try on some clothes, see if you want to buy them or not. If not, Go take them up to the cash register and make the person put them away because that's how it usually works. But anyways, uh, enough of that. That's pretty much it for the clothes shop here. Let's turn off these lights. All right. So up above the clothes shop is an apartment. Let's go up there and check these out. So up here we have apartment rooms. Right here is a little apartment room. We got a bedroom here with some lights and stuff. Very nicely designed. 
some side lights here for the bed, and a giant flat screen TV on the wall. I'd love to use that. That's a huge TV, actually. It's mounted to the wall, too. All right, back over here, we have the living room with a slanted wall and some plants on the exterior facing of the wall. That's nicely designed. Okay, we have a little flat screen TV here as well and some lights. Now I'm trying to zoom through all this stuff because there is quite a bit, but I still hope you guys enjoy this episode. All right, let's continue on. I believe this is the bathroom. Always need a bathroom in an apartment. This is a nice little bathroom. We have the shower here where we could shower. Of course, that's pretty much it for the bathroom. There's a light too. Don't really need lights though. Okay, and back here we have the kitchen area. Turn the light on. We have a fridge. We got the countertop with sink, coffee maker, and the stove right there. Pretty neat. So that's pretty much it for the apartment building here. Let's go out here and what is this? What? What is this? Let's check this out, guys. Oh, there's some caution tape there what is this oh god this is spooky guys this is spooky is this like a haunted room there's some red stuff on the floor there <laughs> red stuff there's some blood on the floor there um and yeah that's really creepy i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna go i don't want anything to do with that room okay so let's head up top here and up top we just got the roofs here with some solar panels and some more air ducts and some power cables. So what we have here is the candy shop. And I think this is a reference to Con Gaming. Uh, Callum or someone made a little reference here. I think that's a little reference. I'm not really sure. Pretty sure it's a reference to Con Gaming. So let's go inside the ca candy shop. The co ca ca candy shop. I don't know. The, the candy shop. <laughs> candy shop. Okay, so in here we have candy. We got some lollipops there. We got some candy canes, bunch of candy all over, ducks, of course. Uh, more stuff there. And up over there, we have some jars of, I guess, like gumballs and jelly beans and stuff like that. Got the counter here. Nothing too significant about that. And that is pretty much it for the candy shop as well. So let's head out back here. Oh, and there's a little gumball machine. I didn't notice that. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go out here, and next door we have a laundry mat. Whoa. All right, so I haven't checked this one out yet. I don't know anything about laundry mats, but we do have those bags there that usually store the already washed or already worked on clothes. We have a iron board here, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, back here we have some washing machines. Turn the light on. We got some washing machines there for people to do their laundry. Pretty nice. Not much to it, so let's head back out and continue checking out the rest of the buildings. Alright, so, there's a big Discord ad on the side once again. If you guys want to join the Discord channel for the community, the link is in the description. But, if we head to the back here, there is some graffiti all over. There's a spy graffiti there. We got some vines and plants climbing up the wall there. And, of course, we have the... Cali graffiti there, which references Callum, I guess. <laughs> All right, so there is another little secret here, which I'm going to just check out, but I believe it is something I don't really want to discuss. So back here, we got a little science room. Yep, this is totally a science room. Yeah, we got our chemistry set there once again. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. We have uh, plants here. Yeah, turn that off and let's get out of here. Because that's not what I... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so this is some more buildings over here. We have a little playground here for kids to play on. Maybe I, I'll just play on it a little bit. I, don't, I can't really fit because I'm not a kid. I'm a dwarf. But I still can't fit. Would dwarf kids be really small? Would they be like a foot or two feet tall? Man, that's, that's a good question. Because I think we're only three feet tall. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so... Here we have a cake shop. This is a reference to the original cake shop from the Mini City 1.0 in episode 2 where I built a cake shop. Okay, so let's go inside and check it out. I didn't build this though. 
Callum, Dogelord, and Mr. Krovka collaborated on all these buildings, so I don't know what to really expect on these shops here. Uh, back here, we got, like, counters to build cakes, make cakes. Uh, we got lights here. Pretty simple. Got a table here to hang out and eat some cake. Maybe some cheesecake. I like ice cream cake. Ice cream cakes are better, in my opinion. Just my opinion, though. Everyone has their preferences on cakes. I'm an ice cream cake kind of guy. I don't even know where I'm getting at with this, but uh, let's head out. And on the side here, I believe we have some more apartments. Oh wait, this is a bar. All right, sweet. We've got a pool table here. We have some beverages up there and on the counter. We've got some seats here to lounge on. Pretty nice, pretty cool, okay. Let's check out the roof. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. They did an amazing job, as always, on building these buildings. But anyways, what was your favorite building out of this episode? Let me know in the comments. Um, my favorite was probably... Probably the haunted room up there. The, the murder room. Yeah, that was probably my favorite. <laughs> okay. Anyways... Let's head back over to our old person car here. Let's get in and let's go take it back on the highway. But that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. But uh, yeah, let's go take these old people back to the old folks home, even though we don't really have one. Let's take them back to the hospital. That's that's a good enough place. They can deal with them. That's mean. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm so rude. <laughs> okay, so... Hospital's over there. Let's, uh, let's drive on the wrong side of the road here. Yep. Oh, what's this? Uh, it's warning us that we're going on the wrong side of the road. We're just gonna stop right here. And it looks like our car has broke. Well, not really. I just used Brent Batch's, uh, spaghetti glitch module there to, uh, kind of break the car here. I guess I could have probably just removed the suspension, all, all the doors and everything like that. We can't really go anywhere, so you had to do a really weird cut there. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.